Good morning and welcome to day 89 of the Mindfulness Challenge. I hope you're well. Hope you enjoyed yesterday's meditation where we were asking ourselves about who we are and what's our purpose and where we're going. I hope you got some results. Like all of these things, there's not a uh, definitive meditation that's going to truly unlock everything. It's about you cultivating and building out your meditations day by day. And today I want you to think about something a little bit different. Using mindfulness to explore your leadership skills. What does that mean? Are you a born leader? Are you somebody who follows or are you somebody who leads? It's a good question. But when as a follower do you become a leader? Or when as a leader do you become a follower? And I think it's important to me when you think of leadership, people think about you know, you sat in this, you know, corporate environment, you know, leading an, an army of, of, of work colleagues and people who you work with, etc. But leadership can be so much more than that. Leadership can be an organisation, but it also can be family or you show leadership in friends or you show leadership within a relationship. And when we have that leadership and even leadership in ourselves you know how do we move forward what do we do we need to we, we are our own leaders in many ways and the best leaders or the best ways of leadership in a lot of these things have clarity and purpose now you know these words that i use consistently is about helping you to help yourself live a happy balanced spiritual life with clarity and purpose and that doesn't change today but what we're talking about is how we can get you to become the leader, how we can get you to have this clarity and purpose of objective of what your family is trying to achieve, your relationship is where you're heading, why you're trying to do, etc. Or if you want to think about leadership in terms of the workplace, then you know it's important. But leadership is key and 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 being a leader in what you do, even if it's that's a leader in, in your own living room, then that's great because you have this clarity and purpose for you to move forward. We're going to do a meditation now, which is exploring yourself as a leader. All I want you to do is just close your eyes. As always, put a picture up and follow me. And let's begin, as we always do, by taking a moment to allow your body to settle into a comfortable position. And you may close your eyes and you can keep them slightly open. But what is important is allowing your spine to lift and the shoulders to soften. And today we're going to explore leading with purpose. And as I said at the beginning, regardless of your position, whether it's an organization or a family, when you, you will be called to lead at some point. And the best leaders have a sense of clarity and a sense of purpose and how they engage with the world and in how they lead others. And they connect with people in a very human level. And I want to begin by just taking in a full breath in and a long breath out. And just let your attention rest on the breath. And I'm going to ask you a series of questions. But instead of thinking about the questions or coming up with responses, I want you to allow the questions to just sink in like pebbles being dropped into a still pond. And I want you to be this sensitive to any of the ripples that you notice. as a leader of the family or the organization of a relationship, what's important to you? And what are you aiming to achieve as a leader? And as I ask these questions, 
just noticing the thoughts, the feelings and the images that come to mind. As you breathe in and as you breathe out. And think about as a leader, as somebody who is leading your relationship, your family and an organization, what values is it, are important to you and what values guide you? And just think about what may be preventing you from living your true values each day. And continue breathing in and continue breathing out. And bring your attention back to your body. Noticing if the mind is wandering or if there's anything attaching to any particular thoughts or feelings that arise. Now I want you to imagine yourself leading your family, your relationship, your organization, your business with clarity and purpose. Bring it to mind. Bring that awareness of leading with clarity and purpose. And what does that feel like? And as we begin to re-emerge from this reflection, Notice how your body and mind feels at the moment. And finish with a full deep breath in and a long deep breath out. And when you're ready, come back into the room, wiggly fingers and see where you are. So, so leadership is about leading, isn't it? And it's about how you can do that with clarity and purpose. And some people don't want to be leaders. But at some point in your life or some point in your day today, you're going to need to lead. And if you think about what are the contributions that you'd most like to make to the world? What are they? Write them down. Put them in front of you. What do I want to contribute to the world? Mine is development. Personal development. Helping people. Here it comes to help themselves live a happy, balanced, spiritual life with clarity and purpose. How do I deliver that? How do I lead that? How do I do it with clarity and purpose? How do I share the ideas and the values of, to others that are around me, to others that, that, that gravitate towards my value system? Like-minded people, I'm talking to one right now, I'm talking to you. And mindfulness can give us that opportunity again. It's, it's a great space to be with and build on any aspect of our lives. And we're talking about leadership today on day 89, 11 to go. So be a leader in your living room. Be a leader in your life. In your life, lead your life from the front. Don't expect others to lead your life for you. You are not a follower in your own life. You are a leader. Other people may follow, but you are the leader. So how are you going to lead today with clarity and purpose? That's your question. To be answered in the comments below, please like, subscribe, and share the content. It'd be great to get these nearly 100 videos out to people around the world, because I hope they help. They help me. Um, every day I'm sort of meditating and it's wonderful and it really does help me. So I hope it's helping you. Let your comments below. Please share, like, and don't forget, good morning, Julian. Good night, Julian. Good afternoon. Anytime, Julian. I'm a born leader and I love you. Take care. Have a lovely day, 89. God bless. Be love and give love. Bye-bye.